Hi guys, Zech here. Today I want to show you how I joined the belt using epoxy and the new automatic support features in Black Belt Cura. I thought I would try and use epoxy to glue the two pieces of the belt together. So I had these marble slabs lying around. I had put my speakers on there. Anyway, so I start by just putting some tape down onto the marble so the glue doesn't stick to the marble. So the idea was that the marble will, will give me a very flat surface to work on. I then stuck the ends of the, the belt of the stainless steel sheet onto the marble so it doesn't move. At the moment I'm using 0 0.07 which is a bit too stiff. Um, I think I'm going to go back to 0 0.05 in the future. I'm just checking the alignment of the two ends. I used some acetone on a rag and just cleaned both surfaces very well. I had some of this epoxy lying around. It was labelled as very strong, but it also takes like 8 hours to cure. I squirted the epoxy straight onto the stainless steel and then mixed it in position. I used a, an ear bite that I cut off to mix it and then I just spread the epoxy very thinly across the whole surface. I overlap the two ends of the belt about 15 millimeters, like two inches and I used some capstone tape to just tack it into position, so to speak. Now it's time to clamp it into position. So I put another flat surface, in this case another marble slab on top, and I'm using some G-clamps to clamp it down and make it as flat as possible, flat and level as possible. 24 hours later, it was time to take off the clamps and see if it worked. It took quite a bit of fiddling to get the belt loose without damaging it. I've been printing with this belt for a week or maybe a week and a half already and it seems to be holding up. The one problem is that where it's glued it's quite thick still so when you go around the corner it's, it bends and it makes a bulge. So in the future I'm going to order some 0.05mm stainless steel shim and try it with that. That'll give me a, a thinner overlap which hopefully will work much better. Something that I'm very excited about is Black Belt Cura's 3.5.1 version. It now has automatic support generation which works quite well. You simply click on generate support and in this case I chose 70% overhang and the support looks perfect. What's clever is that if you rotate the model the support now looks totally different. It knows that the models need support in different places based on their orientation. It's not just a straight up down support like the normal support generation. So of course I have to give it a try and it works perfectly until it goes to the end of the bed and falls off because I forgot to put the um, aluminium sheet back that supports the print when they roll off the, the belt. Thanks for your support and hope you have a great day. Please post your experiments and projects on the Facebook page that I started.